Just off of Highway 2, you will find a unique festival that takes you back to the early 19th century. I've been doing this for a lot of years since I was a kid, and it's always a lot of fun. The, you know, a lot of ni nice people get a visit. It's almost like fam, like an extended family over the years. Some participants even set up camp and stay the whole Memorial Day weekend at the Wabonzi Trail Rendezvous. A friend of mine that was a full-blood Indian came down, had a teepee set up, and I thought that was cool, so I. Started, he invited me to come down to camp. Leeser has been partaking in the rendezvous for several years. Here, spectators can immerse themselves in the era in a hands-on way. <laughs> Shooting real cannons, making handmade tools, trading goods round robin, and cooking the way they did in the 1840s. Organizer Tim Fortney also teaches people how to throw hawks and knives. It's a blast. Most people don't realize that they can do that. Yeah. Women learn quicker than men. He says this is an event for the whole family, guaranteed to teach you a history lesson more entertaining than what you'll find in a textbook. If you would like to come down here and learn to do the things that they used to do, come on down. The older historical part of the way America uh, had developed over the years is being lost, and I think that's a very important part for the younger generation to understand how America uh, came along. Reporting from Cantrell, Iowa, Laura Simon, KTVO News.